Welcome students to part two in our interior lighting design 101 series. We will be delving deep into the specific impacts and effects of interior lighting design. We will discover how changes in direction of light can impact an object's form and texture, how good lighting can create delightful modeling in modern buildings, and the effects of glare on visual performance. By the end of part two, you'll have a thorough understanding of how a lighting design can both enhance functionality and create beautiful aesthetics. So let's get started on this illuminating journey together. All right, in this lesson, we will dive deep into analyzing the various ways in which form and texture can be revealed within a building and how they can create a unique sense of space. But that's not all. We will also learn how to apply this knowledge to create cohesive and harmonious designs that respond to the context and function of the building. You will discover the importance of task lighting in revealing the form and texture of interior spaces and how it can create a comfortable and productive environment for users. And finally, we will also evaluate the principles of lighting design that can be used to create delightful modeling in modern buildings. By the end of this lesson, you will have the skills and knowledge to assess the impact of form and texture on the building's design and apply these principles to create functional and aesthetically pleasing spaces. Now, when it comes to interior lighting design, there is no doubt that achieving the perfect balance between form and texture is key to creating a space that's not only visually appealing, but also functional. But what exactly do we mean by form and texture? Well, form refers to the overall shape and structure of an object, while texture refers to the surface quality of the material. But did you know that by simply changing the direction of your light source, you can either accentuate or downplay the form and texture of your objects? This technique, called modeling, can create stunning effects that will make your guests go woo and ah. Just check out this tennis ball casting a dramatic shadow, like it's about to take center stage in its own thriller movie. Let's talk about two lighting powerhouses that can bring your objects to life, shadow and contrast. By manipulating the way light falls on objects, you can make them appear to be bursting with dimension and character. It's like taking a plain two-dimensional object and bringing it to life. With the right lighting, you can create a sense of texture and depth that will make your space feel like it's practically popping off the walls. Take a textured wall, for example, by using a combination of wall corners and ceiling lights to create areas of light and shadow, you can make the wall feel like a work of art. It's like you're painting with light. And the best part, you don't need a degree in fine art to make it happen. With a little bit of experimentation and some well-placed lighting fixtures, you can create a space that's both beautiful and full of character. Now, if you want to make your space stand out, then you need to know about the magic of accent lighting. Accent lighting is like the spotlight of the lighting world. It's all about drawing attention to specific areas and objects. Whether it's a funky piece of furniture or a draw-dropping sculpture, accent lighting can help make it the star of the show. By using accent lighting to illuminate these areas, you can create a focal point that will leave your guests absolutely dazzled. It's like saying, hey, check out this amazing object. Isn't it incredible? A simple table lamp can work wonders when it comes to accent lighting. By placing it strategically near a textured sculpture, you can make the sculpture look like a masterpiece. When it comes to picking out the perfect lighting for your space, don't just wing it. You gotta consider the vibe you're going for, and that's where color temperature comes in. The color temperature of lighting refers to the warmth or coolness of the light, and it can have a significant impact on the overall feel of the room. A higher color temperature can give your space a cool, edgy vibe and make your objects look like they're popping off the wall. It's like they're saying, hey, look at me, I'm 3D and amazing. On the other hand, if you want to create a cozy, relaxed atmosphere 
go for lower color temperatures. It's like wrapping yourself in a warm blanket but for your eyes. And sure, it may make your objects look a bit flatter, but who needs depth when you've got all that cozy goodness? Now let's talk about the different types of light sources and their effects on form and texture. Incandescent bulbs create warm diffuse light that can help to create a cozy atmosphere, while fluorescent bulbs create a cool bright light that is perfect for highlighting details. And let's not forget about LED bulbs which are becoming increasingly popular for their versatility and energy efficiency. Each type of bulb has its own unique effect on the form and texture of objects in your space. So, if you want to create a warm and inviting atmosphere, go for incandescent bulbs. If you want to highlight every little detail in your space, go for the fluorescent bulbs. And if you want to be a lighting ninja, go for the LED bulbs. At the bottom line, don't underestimate the power of your light source. With the right bulb, you can transform your space into a cozy hideaway, a bright and energetic hangout, or anything in between. Well, 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 aren't you just a lucky duck with natural light in your space? Let us take a moment to appreciate the power of Mother Nature and her incredible gift of light. Now, natural light is like a little slice of heaven in your building. By positioning your windows just right, you can create some seriously cool patterns of light and shadow on your walls and surfaces. It's like having your own personal light show courtesy of the sun. But wait, there is more. Natural lighting can also make your space feel more open and area, which is perfect for tiny spaces. It's like a magic trick. One minute your room feels cramped and the next it's like you're living in a palace. Alrighty, in task lighting, form and texture are important considerations that can impact the performance and comfort of the user. Revealing form and texture with interior lighting is influenced by the type and placement of light sources. Different types of lighting create different effects on the form and texture of an object. We will explore five types of lighting and their effects. Beginning with light that reaches the object mainly from a single source of limited size. This is like shining a flashlight on a small object in a dark room. The flashlight creates strong contrast between light and shadow which can make the form of the object stand out. This type of lighting creates dynamic and, dram and dramatic shadows and highlights which can emphasize the form and texture of objects. It is often used in museums and art galleries to create a sense of drama and visual interest. You can transform an object's appearance just by changing the position of the source, object, and observer. But wait, there is a catch. Any obstruction of the light source will result in a major loss of illuminance on the work plane. So keep those pesky obstructions away if you want your space to shine bright like a diamond. Now let's talk shadows. If your light source is small and bright, the shadows will be hard and the highlights will reveal all the juicy details of surfaces on anything other than a matte finish. This is perfect for examining texture piles and unpolished surfaces. But, if your light source is large and less bright, the shadows will be softer and any texture will be less pronounced. To achieve this effect, you can use directional lighting such as spotlight or track lighting that focuses the light on a specific object or area. By directing the light onto a textured surface or object, you can create strong contrast between light and shadow which can make the form of the object stand out. Now, let's look at light that reaches the object from a single, very large source. This is like standing in a bright room with a big skylight. The light is coming from all directions and creates a soft, even glow that can be ideal for revealing the texture of objects. Modeling is slight and it's so subtle that you might not even notice that it's there. With no noticeable shadows and barely their texture, it's perfect for those who want a minimalistic look or simply don't want to draw too much attention to a particular object or surface.
For example, a luminous ceiling can create a soft and uniform glow that can be ideal for spaces such as hospitals or offices. This type of lighting can also help to create a sense of spaciousness and openness in a room. However, it may not be as effective at emphasizing the form of objects as compared to lighting from a single source of limited size. Next up, we have light that reaches the object from several sources. This is like walking through a forest with sunlight filtering through the trees. The combination of different light sources creates interesting patterns of light and shadow on the ground, highlighting the texture of the forest floor. This type of lighting can create a dynamic and varied lighting effect that can be useful for revealing the form and texture of objects. However, if you have multiple small sources, the individual effects tend to cancel each other out and you'll end up with less modeling. Plus, having too many small sources can lead to a shadowy mess that can cause confusion in some tasks. By using a combination of different light sources such as wall corners, table lamps, and ceiling lights, you can create interesting patterns of light and shadow on textured walls or surfaces. This can be particularly effective in spaces such as restaurants or bars where a sense of atmosphere and mood is important. Now let's look at indirect lighting. Indirect lighting is like the gentle glow of the moon on a clear night. The moonlight reflects off surfaces to create a soft and indirect illumination, just as indirect lighting reflects off walls and ceilings to create a warm and inviting glow. Indirect lighting can be used to create a soft and diffuse lighting effect that can help reveal the texture of objects. However, modeling is almost completely absent. This type of lighting bounces light off walls or ceilings to create a gentle glow that can be ideal for creating a cozy and inviting atmosphere. Indirect lighting can also be used to create a sense of depth in a room by illuminating textured surfaces such as brick walls or stone facades. Lastly, we have orientation and mounting heights. This is like looking at a painting from different angles. Depending on where you stand, you might see different aspects of the painting. Similarly, the orientation and mounting heights of lighting fixtures can affect the way shadows are cast, which can have an impact on the way form and texture are perceived. However, if you are not careful with the orientation and mounting height, you might end up with some confusing shadows that will make you scratch your head in confusion. And if you are aiming for some sweet vertical illumination, remember, the more diffuse the light, the higher the vertical component of illumination. For example, wall corners mounted at a low height can create a strong uplight effect that can emphasize the texture of a wall or surface. Conversely, pendant lights mounted at a high height can create a more diffuse and even lighting effect that can be ideal for revealing the texture of an object. The orientation of the light source can also have an impact on the way shadows are cast, which can affect the way form and texture are perceived. Lighting can do wonders in revealing the beauty of a building's architecture and bringing out the best in people and objects. General lighting, in particular, plays a significant role in creating a visually appealing space that is also functional. As a designer, you have the power to create stunning visual effects by strategically positioning lumineers. By carefully considering the placement of lights, you can achieve delightful modeling that brings out the best in the room. For example, you can create a sense of flow by positioning lights on one side of the room which can be especially effective in buildings where appearance is a primary consideration. Good modeling is key to highlighting the building's features and making it awe inspiring. You want to create a space that makes people say wow, not meh. However, in many factories and offices, functional efficiency is the primary objective and the lighting design needs to be focused on that. In such cases, Overhead lighting in symmetrical arrays is often necessary, and the degree of modeling is generally low. 
It may not be the most visually stunning, but hey, it gets the job done. Congratulations on taking the next step towards mastering the art of interior lighting design. In our next lesson, we'll be diving into the topic of glare and why it is so important to understand its effects on lighting design. You will also learn about the different types of glare that can occur. Thank you for joining me today.